Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode number... Oh, who's that? That would be Tio. Tush, you don't hear anything. I hear everything. <laughs> episode 29 of Direwolf20's server play series. T-Love is here, CBW is here, Fireball is here. Guess what, everybody? We have a new mod on Forgecraft. Lies. Truth. Oh. Light air sticks? No. Uh, Even though everybody keeps commenting on the little, like... Chisel and bits thing you did, and they think it's applied under just uh, Of course. People are like, every time uh, I see that, I think AE's on the server, and it's not. Uh, How course. many times have you right clicked it? Uh, never. Oh. Nope, you haven't <laughs> fooled me yet. You haven't fooled me yet. Oh boy. New mod hype is. E. N. D. E R O. Ender IO. E -E Ender IO, really? Yeah, Ender IO is on Forgecraft 1 now, version 1.89. It's pretty much a direct port. All right, like, well, let's, let's see this. Like, super direct port. Like, CBW, remember I told you the trees were flashing? Are they still flashing? Uh, yeah, they're doing it, like, right now. Um, it's flashing. That's not good to know. I, I need to. I need to. I need to fix that because that's gonna mess with me. Uh, I'm assuming that I can turn off something that will make. I mean, if you make leaves uh, fast instead of fancy, that'll probably fix it. Yeah, I'm looking for where that setting is. I'm just gonna do graphics fast. And nope, they're still blinking. <laughs> I'm staying in my well, house it... today. <laughs> um. He said it's because, like, some blocks he's doing the old depreciated way because he hasn't upgraded to the new way for rendering. Does that make any sense to you, CPW? Because it's, I don't know. Basically, he's hacked in the old way that no one should have done. But yeah, and he's he's well aware that no one should have done it. <laughs> um, I wonder if it's only when I have Ender.io, like... Rendered in JEI. Probably. Uh, nope. Nope, that doesn't we'll even... Right back. That doesn't even make a difference. So I'm staying in my house today. We're not going outside because I don't want anybody to, like, stop watching the video because of blinking trees. They're going to be like, oh, it's giving me a headache. Because it... If it's if it's prominent, it, it, it is like a little bit of a frustration point. Um, so I was going to use these fancy external heaters, but I think I'd like to use Ender.io now because we've got it. And I'm going to be doing stuff with Ender.io. So I want to rearrange this base a little bit. And we also have Ender.io pipes. We have Ender.io item ducts. We have all the cool stuff. Um, so like, I don't even know where to begin. Like, I'm probably going to want a sag mill. Machine chassis, basic capacitor is copper ingot, redstone, and gold nugget. All right, cool. I can do that. Um, hopefully, I can do that. Probably gonna want even more of this stuff. I'm gonna want some of this. So we will let me get some resources together and then we'll be right back to do this. Alright guys, we are back. Uh the first thing I'm probably gonna want to get is let's see, what's it called? Not the furnace. I wanna get the smeltery from Ender.io. Alloy smelter, yes. Oh. Whoops, I was in test mode in single player and left it on. One of these days we'll get something that doesn't do silly things like that. So I need three furnaces. And machine chassis. So we're gonna want a basic capacitor, at least one for now. We'll probably want a few more soon. And Alloy smeltery, machine chassis. I'll get a couple sets of these just because I know I'm going to need them. Nice. The first machine chassis and Ender IO has begun. All right. So do I want one of these for now? I think probably. Debating where I'm going to want to put this guy. I'll probably want one up here and one down here in my ore smelting area. As you can see, cleared out a little bit of space. I'm probably going to be doing some stuff with this. We'll see. I don't know. I want to map out a bit of a basement, do some ore processing down here, and then some other stuff elsewhere. But for now, I'm going to tap in probably right about here for my alloy smeltery. Okay, cool. 
I'll probably also want a Yetta wrench at some point. That is just a basic gear from Ender.io, which is sticks and wood. Or sticks and stone, right? Yeah, cobblestone, basic gear, and the Yetta wrench. Oh, it needs electrical steel. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember how electrical steel is made. Uh, let's see, items, resources, electrical steel is copper, silicon, and iron ingots. So we're probably also gonna want a sag mill while we're at it. So let's get just a few more basic capacitors so I can get some more machine chassis. And then we'll get ourselves a sag mill with a little bit of flint. And we'll get this set up in a second. Need a piston too. So what I'm gonna do is drop some gravel And that should start producing sand for me. Very cool. Um, I guess I'll use dull craft pipes for now, but we might switch over to uh, the other kinds of pipes here at some point, the Ender.io pipes, but we'll see. So I guess my best bet would be tap into that dude and you should be getting RF. Nice. All right, cool. And you're draining your capacitor. You could probably use a capacitor here, but I don't think I can make the good ones until we get energetic alloys and vibrant alloys. But that's okay. It shouldn't actually take too long to get to that point. So what I should be able to do now is grab like a stack of each of these dusts and make sure this is in furnace only mode. And, oh, that's right. You'll want to be all the same. That's cool. Yeah, that clicking, finally. <laughs> um, cool. While we're at it, let's get our sag mill hooked up. And we're gonna be rearranging all this stuff, obviously. But build first, make pretty later. There we go. Nice. So there comes the silicon. We're smelting up some silver. We'll probably want some crushed Oh, I think as well and I mean it's more than possible that I'll switch over to like an ender IO or processing but at least for now I've got this big fancy crusher here so might as well use it right so you do your thing I'm gonna smelt up this uh, stuff he's not too fast at the moment but remember he is doing three at a time so that's kind of nice cool all right that should be enough sand for the time being Let's throw a stack of coal in there. That shouldn't be a problem. Cool. And then we can get ourselves, if I put this in alloys only mode, we're going to do coal dust and iron. Nice. Not sure what you're smelting at the moment, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh, it was just more silver. Okay. Cool. We're definitely going to need to speed this thing up. Um, so energetic alloy, if I remember correctly, is gold, redstone, and glowstone. So I only have that much glowstone. Really? That's it? I don't have more glowstone laying around here somewhere. All right. I guess somebody's going to the nether soon. All right. So gold, redstone, and glowstone. Because I'm absolutely going to need that if I want to get the next tier. All right. So that's my first electrical doohickey. Let's put you in here for now. That'll at least get me a double layer capacitor so that I can speed things up. So more copper and gold, huh? Okay, so two of these. We're gonna need more gold and redstone. So let's do that many. That should be sufficient for now. And just a little bit of coal powder, which I'm getting pretty good at. Dude, let me tell you, it is very kind of cool to have uh, a tech mod on the server. <laughs> yes, yes, finally. I'm not complaining. So 
So now, if I throw a double layer capacitor in there, he should do 60 RF a tick and should be able to process quite a bit faster. Probably gonna want copper soon. So, gold, go ahead and. Ooh, I can't smelt gold grit. That's interesting. Copper grit doesn't work in here either. So he did say that it's possible there. This is literally like hot off the presses version of. Oh, really? You should be smell. Oh, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Furnace mode. Yep, there's your problem. <laughs> I was going to say, like, wait a second. Wasn't this just working a minute ago? Okay, so that's going to process quite a bit faster now. I think I need to go to the nether because I'm going to need some stuff. So let's sort our inventory. Silver grid I'm not going to sort, but everything else I should be sortable. I think I'm going to put this guy down. We're going to make ender IO. Nice. So all my ender IO stuff should sort into there. Okay, hopefully nothing makes its way into this chest. Good. All right, we'll come back in a minute. Let me just pop into the nether real fast, find myself some uh, glowstone, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and I am now cooking up some vibrant alloy. Because I should be able to combine. Nice. Yeah. Glowstone. That's the nice thing about starting Ender IO after you've been playing for a bit, because you have like a supply of Ender Pearls and whatnot. Yeah. So now I should be able to significantly speed this process up. Awesome. Okay, I like this idea. So double layers, that's good. I can get another Octodick if I want for my sag mill, but for now I'll kind of let this hang out. Um, so what do I want to really get started with first? I wouldn't mind a power supply storage, right? So, I mean, we've obviously got this guy, which is doing just fine, but I think, you know what I want is a power monitor. That's probably one of the first things I'm gonna want to get, which sounds backwards, but because I'm kind of here already, Let's do power monitor. There he is. So we're gonna need an energy conduit, which is conductive iron with conduit binder, binder composite, gravel, sand, and clay. Okay. So let's get a few of you and maybe some of you and a little bit of clay and get our conduit binder going. What do I need more of? Now we're talking. That should be actually quite a significant amount of binder composite. Let's put this guy back to furnace mode and cook. That's going to get me like a silly amount of conduit binder. I always forget how much this multiplies, but that's okay. Um, and then we need uh, electrical steel, which uh, we already know the recipe for, right? Yeah. So let's just get like a stack of that stuff, I guess. That should be fine. You know what, I'll finish off this stack. That sound cool? So electrical steel. So yeah, JEI integration is not complete yet, um, which is fine. So alloys mode, boom, boom, and that should be fine. Nice. Speeding that up was a good idea. And then um, I believe it's just redstone and iron, right, for the other one? Yes, that is definitely something. That is conductive iron. Nice. Okay, cool. And this guy can do how much RF a tick? 640? Yeah, that's not going to be enough. But, I mean, we need to make it for the crafting recipe, so we will. 5120 sounds better, and that's just energetic alloys, so we'll be fine with that. So we'll let this guy get the sixth one. We'll throw some more electrical steel in there for cooking time. That way we'll have a decent amount of it. And then uh, we're probably also gonna want some vibrant alloys while we're here. Maybe a dozen, does that sound cool? Oh, 
a way to get um, logistics pipe power to cross between pipe network. Oh, uh, I haven't played with the logistics pipe power stuff yet, and uh, but I want to because it sounds awesome. In Skyblock, you're doing right. Yeah, well, you need power to uh, power the thing, don't you? The logistics pipes. Oh, I thought you meant like putting RF through logistics pipes networks. No, I'm not doing that yet. Actually, that's a good idea, though. Right? There might be a way to get power over there. Yeah. See? Dyer's helping. He doesn't even realize it. <laughs> I could put an EU provider here. I got. I actually accidentally built one because I got confused as to what it was. Nice. <laughs> and I've got it lying around there somewhere. There it is. EU power provider. Possibly put that there. Power monitor and conduit probe needs work. another one of oh, these. It's connected. Redstone alloy. Redstone alloy. I'm actually looking up like on a website right now what the recipes are for some of this stuff. Redstone alloy. Oh, isn't it? It's it's yeah. I know what it is. Okay. Cool. Let's get this. Um, it needs to be redstone and silicon. And I should only need three of them, so that should be sufficient. Am I out of juice? I am out of juice. Wow, I burned through my power supply. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. I need to make a, a, a generator room, by the way. That's something that needs to happen, like, very quickly this episode. Because I am getting hungry every time I turn on my generator. It's having a seriously negative impact in the terrain around me. Okay, so let's get this thing crafted, shall Give we? Give me hunger. Yeah, no, that's like the first level of like you just did bad things to the environment. Like this, ah. like the whole mod is it's neat because it really poisons the environment when you do stuff with when you generate power with it. Like it's a pretty powerful power generation system. Um, I'll just do one of these for now, but um. Do I have a machine chassis on me? I do. Nice. Okay, cool. So yeah, the um, the power generation is actually really neat. But um, it, it damages the environment, which is bad. Smooth stone. Let's cook some up, shall we? I guess I'll put it on all smelting mode. That should be fine. Blink is definitely cool for going through walls. Okay, so one of you. <laughs> so cool. I love being able to watch stuff go by. Oh yeah, no. It's it's a lot of fun being able to play with logistics pipes like that. Like I was really excited to see that it was in the Skyblock map because it was like, all right, cool. Like I'm all about using that a little bit. Uh, the other conduit I want is the high power one. So let's get one of those going. Yeah, three sets. That sounds cool. And I can always smelt up more. Old redstone and glowstone. All right, so my trick is that I want to find out. I'm going to rearrange this, and I, I need to test if I can measure the amount of RF stored in this HV capacitor. Okay. So we're going to want our Yetta wrench now. Uh, do I have the electrical steel that I need? I do. Gotta watch where you're blinking, though. Oh, sudden frame rate drop. I didn't do it. Probably because I looked outside at trees. Mm, yeah, it should be cool. So if I put a power monitor here, and I configure this guy, always active and out. That's cool. So you're gonna need power. Nice. 
All right, so I want to activate engine control. Emit signal when storage less than 50. Stop when storage greater than 75, right? Not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. So let's actually do this with an insulated redstone conduit since I happen to have some. Interesting, you don't seem to want to connect, but I bet I could force you on the north face. Wrong one. All right, look at that, okay, cool. Interesting. Gaining a net chart. Uh. You want to kick on now? Yeah, this thing, I don't know if it's working perfectly. My power monitor is not entirely behaving. No? No, unfortunately. Is it the conduit that it's measuring? I think it's not properly monitoring the HV capacitor is what it comes down to. Just try smelting something. I wanna see if the conduit dropping below 50. Yep, see, as soon as we hit 50% of the conduit, it triggered it on and then boom, it's off after we get above 100, okay. All right, I see what's happening now. So I think I can fix this. What I'm gonna do is remove you for the time being, and let's blink out of here. So let's see if it'll work with one of the Ender IO capacitor banks. So a capacitor bank of five million RF requires a couple double layers and some electrical steel. That looks like it's totally doable, provided I have a little bit more sand in my inventory. Let's put away things I don't need at the moment, like clay, and a little bit of this conduit binder stuff. And we probably don't need conductive iron for the moment, but we might soon. And these energy conduits I definitely don't need because I'm already using the second tier of them. And we'll put away some of the build craft piping stuff that we've got. That should be cool. All right, let's try this, shall we? So I'm gonna snag this sand, sag mill it up. Get you going with a little bit more electrical steel. That should be sufficient. Okay, and then just double layer capacitor. <sighs> Whoops. We'll let this last set finish. All right, that should be cool. Double layer capacitor times two. Capacitor bank. Just need a block of redstone. That shouldn't be a problem. So now we're going to test out if it can properly read this capacitor bank. Okay, instead of this guy. And if I'm right, it should now, capacitor bank storage zero to five million. Okay, that should kick on and stay on even while this is filling up the enhanced energy storage, right? Cause this guy is gonna fill up, this is zero out of something RF. So we're probably gonna wanna configure this to output, which means you can fill up now, cool. Not until this thing is full or 75% full, because that's the number I set it to, right? Let's make this 
10% and we'll make this 25 for now. Because I don't want this thing running a whole lot until I get this behind a, a reactive room. So you should be, 10% would be 500,000. So 25 would be um, 1.5, am I right? So you are definitely filling up. There we go. Yeah, 1.25, I'm sorry, that's right. Derp. So that's exactly what I would expect, right? And it won't turn on again until we get down to 10%. Perfect, all right. So obviously not the most perfect, but we don't need this stuff anymore, which is cool. We can probably even remove these things. Nice, double nice, okay. Let's come back after I organize my inventory a little bit and come up with a plan for the next stage of this design. All right guys, I think the last thing I'm gonna wanna work on here is just to kind of check out if item pipes work. So let's get some pulsating iron. Check. And we're gonna pop upstairs. And we're gonna make ourselves some item conduits. Nice. So let's check this out. Basically anything that comes out of here should be smelted in theory, right? Like copper ingot shouldn't be in there. I probably just put it in there. So let's run this over here. We will yet of this to insert. Oh, that's awesome. It's totally looking good to me. Always active. Nice, look, lead's going in. Beautiful. And then I can pop a chest on top for the time being. And we're gonna configure the IO here to push the chest on top. Awesome. All right, so not the most elegant of uh, automated systems in the world, but it's automated nonetheless. So that is cool. Um, I, I'm, I may, I haven't decided yet, but I may be swapping out the output routing node stuff. It's working pretty well, but every now I come back and there's stuff in this chest, like these golden kinesis pipes. How did they get in there? I don't even know. Um, that doesn't belong and I'm thinking it's just being a little bit touchy with routing so I have to figure out like how it's happening and then get with way of time and let them know that like it's being a little bit funky sometimes like I have to just test a whole bunch and figure out like what's up with this but otherwise it's working pretty well like it's it's definitely it might just be my imagination or it might be me being derpy I don't know but long story short we're in really good shape um I'm thinking I might want to, let's do this. I've got an idea. Let's do wooden kinesis pipe. I wanna zap some power out of here. Can I do this? Would you, ah, yes, I know what I need to do, boom. I want to remove this uh, storage dude. Well, I don't think the Yetta wrench will work, so I definitely need my hammer. Where are you, hammer? Cool. That should convert to RF and get stored in here. Awesome. That's what I wanted to see. That'll just basically convert and prevent me from having to run the reactor. So next episode, I think I'm going to come back. I'm going to work on a reactor room because I'm tired of getting hunger and slowness every time I turn on my reactor. That is getting old super fast. So um, we'll come back and where's my reactor thingy? My radiation level monitor. No radiation detected. Yeah, look at this. Our number is pretty high right now. Luckily, it dissipates. I don't want to say fast, but relatively fast. Um, but yeah, we've got some high amounts of radiation going on. So we'll come back next time. We will rearrange some of this mess. We will move our generator and our deep resonance energy collector thing. We'll probably start tapping into, I don't know if I'll use Billcraft power or the conduits. I might. I like the way Billcraft power looks running through the pipes. Like that is just awesome. I love that appearance of things. But I know that the power monitor, I don't think will work unless it's hooked up to some energy conduits, but I could just have the power monitor touching the capacitor bank and that would really be it. 
So I don't know. We will see. But for now, Dial20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I am excited to have Deep Resonance and Ender IO and all these nifty cool mods to play with on Forgecraft at the moment. And I hope you guys are too. So as always, take it easy.